We haven't actually told anyone else yet what we're planning on doing. So this is kind of like, you're gonna be the first to know. We haven't even told our friends. <laughs> video we made <laughs> back oh in gosh. the day. This is that same, exact same <laughs> setup. Today we're starting our journey, traveling from Sydney to London overland. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And in case you have forgotten who we are, I'm Sally and this is Ed. Hey. <laughs> And it has been a while since we made a video. So hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Let us know in the comments down below how you're doing. It is a crazy, crazy time in the world right now. And we really, truly hope everyone, you're all doing the best you can during these challenging times. I know we are trying really hard to stay positive because it is just a hard time. So unprecedented. Unprecedented These times. are unprecedented times. I don't know, are people saying that in your country where you're from? Because it feels like here, Every single person on the news just keeps referring to these as unprecedented. Yeah, it's like the key language is the yeah. unprecedented. Unprecedented. Yeah. We are in unprecedented times. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. So like most of you guys, our travel plans for this year and well really our plans for this year have just completely fallen apart. Honest, I feel like we're up to plan, like plan F. Z. Really. Z. Yeah, like <laughs> the latter side of the alphabet because we had all these wonderful ideas, these great travel plans and some really cool stuff we wanted to do, but unprecedented times. And so we've just taken a little bit of a break from the channel just to sit back, to reassess, to figure out what we want to do. We haven't actually told anyone else yet what we're planning on doing. Yeah. So this is kind of like, you're going to be the first to know. We haven't even told our friends, friends. No, we <laughs> what we're thinking of doing. We haven't even told our closest friends. Mm. So I'm really sorry guys, but this is how we're breaking the news to you. Huge <gasps> announcement. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to buy a van, we're going to self-convert it, and then we're going to travel Australia. <laughs> So although we've decided that van life and the whole tiny home concept is what we want to pursue, we've never actually been in a van. We've never been in a camper van. We've never experienced van life. I don't know that much about it. So today we're actually going to go and check out a couple of professionally converted vans to kind of see what we're getting ourselves into, to check out the space, check out the layouts, the designs. Can I sleep in a bed? Like I'm six foot, you know, how do I sleep in a van? You know, these are the key questions that at this stage we need to figure out. So we have been doing a little bit of research into what type of camper van we should actually buy. And I think we've kind of narrowed it down to three sort of options. Most people, they either convert a Mercedes Sprinter or a Volkswagen Crafter, and those two are pretty similar in terms of body. And the other one we're looking at is a Fiat Ducato, which I think is called a Dodge Ram in the US and Canada. So yeah, these are the three that we've sort of been looking at. Just because they're the ones that most people convert, there's a lot of information on how to convert them. Where we're going today, they have a Fiat Ducato as well as a Mercedes Sprinter that has been professionally customized. So we're gonna be able to go and get in both of them and kind of see which one we like. They both have slightly different dimensions. So the Fiat Ducato is actually quite a bit wider, but it's shorter. Whereas the Sprinter is longer, but less wide. So I guess getting in them to see which one feels better. I don't know, we've never gotten in a van before, so I don't really know what to expect. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. This is bougie. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is the Fiat Ducato. What so, you do? There's not a whole lot of room in here, but what they have managed to do is fit a kitchen, a bathroom, a bed, and a dining area. So that's pretty, pretty good. It's so one of the things we were concerned about was with having like a shower bathroom and a kitchen, how much space there would be. Because I've seen pictures online, but also like, you know, you don't know until you get in one. Oh, sorry. This is actually a pretty decent sized bathroom. It's got a shower, you can stand up completely, which is impressive. These toilet? Is the toilet. Fancy. So I guess if you sit this way, you've got enough leg room. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Got stand on the taps. Ooh. Whoopsie. But it's a pretty decent size for a shower. Like you could shower in here quite happily, I think. We have a sink and a grill. They've got a fridge. That's a pretty decent sized fridge. Some storage and then like a seating area. So something I've really wanted to know with these vans is which way the bed is going to go. So the Fiat Ducato is a bit wider. So if I jump on this bed, is this going to be... Is it long enough? Enough space. Comfortably? You know, I think it is. Are you comfortable? Yeah, yeah, like, I'm actually, like, that's a full stretch. I'd, I'd be a bit concerned about this above my head, but, you know, I think that's actually... It's okay? That's actually all right. I didn't think it would be wide enough, but it really is. That's awesome. This is pretty comfortable. I guess the driver's seat's always gonna be a bit more comfortable. This is really interesting, these overhead cabinets. So, come have a look. So this is all overhead storage we've got up here. What actually happens with these vans is during the nighttime, this table uh, lifts off and sits in here and it becomes a bed. And you'd be sleeping lengthways. Can you fit? that comfy? Just. It's actually about the same size, the length of the bed. The bed is lengthways rather than widthways. You know, I think I prefer the feet. I'm in the bathroom right now and it is massive. I mean, this bathroom is basically, well, not the whole bathroom, but the shower is sort of almost the size of our shower at home. So, I mean, I don't feel like we need this much shower space. What's happened? Where are we? We thought we'd just get in one of the bigger motorhomes and holy... This is massive. This is literally a home on wheels. Full bed, plenty of storage. We've got- Full kitchen. A full kitchen. I love this. Is that a dishwasher? No way. Dishwasher. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's really worthwhile to get in the two different vans. I'd love to get in a crafter, just to see how similar they are. <laughs> Someone's got a souped up car. Just to see how similar they are to the Sprinter, I think they're more or less the same. But yeah, it's just super interesting to see. They both had very similar layouts, I thought. I guess the bed goes at the back, then you have your bathroom, then you have your kitchen, and a little bit of a seating area was sort of the common, um, com common elements of the, those two layouts. But yeah, no, I think it was really worthwhile to come and check them out. Had a lot of fun. It's interesting sitting in them. They're enormous. So yeah, I'm gonna have to maybe take one for a drive sometime. So there's a crafter right there. So we didn't get to see one today, but that's what they look like. Basically the same as a Sprinter. <laughs> There is just one minor hiccup that we need to sort out before we can take off and drive off into the sunset all around Australia. And uh, I actually need to get my driver's license. Yes, I'm 28, I don't have my driver's license, and obviously we can't start driving around Australia until I have my driver's license, because that would be totally unfair to make Ed do all the driving. So over the next few months, I guess I'm gonna just be having some driving lessons and hopefully getting my driver's license. Wish me luck, guys.